Ah, motherfucker, watch this. Some of that piano stuff, or you think it's some of the higher piano shit, or just leave it out? Uh, some fuller chords. I drink my first big five, I built the buzz of the buzz. She had to put me in the tub, the sober to hide. Growing up on that big wheel on the side of that swamp in Baton Rouge, part one, mama had it down. I drank my first big five, I felt the buzz of the buzz. She had to put me in the tub, the sober to hide. It's coming in hot. I'm talking flames out the side of the aeroplane. I'm talking Michael fucking Wayne. Baby boy, grown man, so easy does it. No man, no. Not picture perfect, staring at the lake water, spirit surface. I saw that line looking back, my spirit's emerging. So Jim Johnson just moved recently from Miami to Nashville. And we've been friends for a long time. We're like brothers now, you know? We've been through good and bad, you know? We're cut from the same cloth. I mean, he's from the trailer park of Florida. Grew up on classic rock and roll and heavy metal and hip hop and he found out a, he found a way to mesh all that together. He's had tons and tons of hit records. He's got a bunch of Grammys and he's just a very accomplished musician and a producer. And I, and I look up to him. Hot water, dropping the hot steel from the meal. I'm from the hill, Billy, that's real. Ride the weight from the ripple lake, earthquake. Soak the crimson tide all the way to Nashville. Tupperware with the tight steel, kept the dope dry on the boat ride. That was a never growing deal. Flip, flip, summer salt, acrobatic with the stack and attic. Never had to panic, cause the farmer had the teal. With Jim, I finally went in there and I was like, look, man. I'm ready to be produced for once, you know? I produced my last project. I had a heavy hand in production on Love Story. I feel accomplished in the underground. I feel accomplished in what I've done, you know? What's a big record like, man? What, what's, what is that like, you know? And how do you do it? And he's just smiled like, all right, dude, let's go. not allowed in the studio. And uh, that's because we're all like protective about the creative process and we're protective about the music. But to let loose of those reins and to be filmed, I thought it's time, you know, I've opened myself up at this point to everyone about my whole life. You know? So why not the music? Why not bring them into the studio? You know, let people see me in the booth and watch me pace around and write a record and watch Jim Johnson create the music and, and watch how it all comes together right here. This is how it happens. We moved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight songs over to Ghetto Cowboy. Hell yeah. What we ended up doing is basically two albums. You know, we've got a handful of records for the Ghetto Cowboy album that's going to follow Trump Music 3. And then we got a lot of great records for Trump Music 3 that's about to come out. I'm so excited right now about Trump Music 3. Fuck. And it's, it's all brand new, too, so... We can go anywhere with it. I like that you came in with that, that idea. That helps. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to keep it, dude. 
I'm gonna keep it there. I promise. I'm I'm come coming loaded. And then boom. You know, it's a couple hours later, we're barbecuing to a song we just did. You know? It's pretty magical.